میهن خود را رها می کنیم آزادی به پا می میهن خود را رها می Thank you very much, Mrs. Rajavi, friends, people of liberty. When I woke this morning, I thought of the people of Camp Liberty and their struggles. I'm thinking about it now. I will think about them tonight. And I pledge myself, as you pledge yourselves, to think with them, to stand with them every day until they are honored in Tehran with a new, free, democratic republic. I heard it said that the people of liberty are in prison. And indeed, they are surrounded by a wall. I heard it said that they are victims. And indeed, they suffer their wounds without medical care, sometimes without food, 
Their property has been stolen. They are fired upon. But 75 million Iranians awoke today in Iran. They could not speak freely. They could not choose their government. They could not pray to their God as they chose. They are enslaved by a tyrannical regime. 3,000 Iranians awoke this morning. They spoke freely. They worshipped as they saw fit. They breathed free while surrounded by prison walls. Who, my friends, are the slaves? Those held in captivity by the Mullahs? Or the 3,000 people of liberty, surrounded by walls, but living with the dignity of a resistance to the Mullahs? People of liberty, we honor you and your struggles. I came to address all of you, but forgive me if my attention is to those young people who are with us here today. People of Liberty, your suffering is not over, but there's not a person here today who does not stand with you or will ever forget you. And we will not be fooled. We will not lose our purpose or our focus. You can have your elections in Iraq. Maliki can stuff his ballot boxes. He can kill his opponents. He can learn from the Mullahs. And he may succeed. But history doesn't end next year. Or in our generation. As my colleagues have said, justice can be delayed. We can be frustrated. But as surely as the Iranian people will bring the Mullahs to justice, as God is my witness, Maliki will see justice in a courtroom for what he did to the people of Ashraf and Liberty, for what he did to his own people. Stealing elections will get him nothing. Killing his opponents will do nothing. Maliki, you will meet justice. As God is my witness, you will meet justice. Thank you. And finally, finally, my friends, to those young people with us again, in your lives you will make decisions about family and careers. So many things face you that you need to decide, and you'll decide them soon. But there's one other decision that you should not forget. Find a reason to be alive. It's not just what you buy, what you save, or even who you choose to love. Martin Luther King said that the person who hasn't found something to die for hasn't found a reason to live. There are many causes in the world worth fighting for. Making the future different. Ridding the world of this cancer. Freeing the land of your fathers. That is a cause worthy of your lives. Thank you all very much. بگذار تا دشمنان بیرونی و درونی هر چه هد می خواهند ستارگان بخت ما را به زمین بچشند ولی ما باز هم آسمان را غرق ستاره ها خواهیم کرد در این قدیم که نسل به خون پسته ما نسل به خون پسور شده ما که اعتقاداتش مکتبش و رویزی سیاسی شد از میان ستنگزاها و از میان میزنهای اعدام به دست آورده مسئله کوچکان و مسئله متدق رو هر چه محکم پر در دست خواهد بکرد Shut up.
ضربات زیادی متحمل شدند اما بزرگترین ضربه خیانت به اعتماد آنها بود ولی به رقم همه اینها امروز مردم ایران از یک مقاومت سازمان یافته منسجم و پر امید برخوردارند ولی روز ما همچنان افتخار میکنیم که وقتی گفتیم مرگ بر اتجا پاش ایستادیم و تا آخرین نفس و تا آخرین قفه خون هم خواهیم ایستاد همچنان که گفتیم سر نگونی سر نگونی سر نگونی بنابراین حرف من با شما هموطنانم این است که با این همه امید و به این همه عشق و فدا و به این گنگینه عظیم پشت گرم باشید و مطمئن باشید که انقلاب دیگری در راه است استبداد دینی به زیر کشیده خواهد شد و آزادی و دموکراسی و برابری برقرار خواهد شد چه مسیری را در پیش داریم؟ جواب نبرد سپیکار در همه اشکال در همه جا و با تمام توان میپرسید هدف ما چیست؟ جواب این است برقراری آزادی دموکراسی و برابری در ایان هستید <تصفيق>